hello there. Hi. Hey, kitty. How do you manage to be the intro for all of my videos? Yeah, I've been like away from YouTube for like a long time. Um, and that's just honestly because I haven't come up with any video ideas. Levi, can you like not be here? <laughs> I think my last video was in like June, which was a long time ago. It's currently 3 a.m. so I'm keeping my voice down. So I do have something now that I can make a video about, and that is that I finished another sketchbook. This one took me longer than the one I did last time I did a video, because I think my last video was the one where I did the sketchbook that was before this. Ugh, silly. Why do you keep doing that? You just walk across everything, you dumb cat. Okay, what was I even saying? All right, so I have this sketchbook. This is the one I just finished, which I'm gonna be doing like a tour of. This is my new one that I'm like, like I haven't started it yet, but I put in stickers and things. <laughs> okay, wait, so I got something really funny to tell you. I have this like sticker pack that I ordered from Amazon and it has some cool stickers, but it also has some just bizarre stickers. I, don't, I just don't know, like this one right here, I wanted to show you this as an example. Cause it's just like, I don't think it's from anything. I don't think it's like a logo to anything. It's like oddly passive aggressive, like just go. <laughs> Probably not gonna use that one, maybe. I've like gone ridiculous with just putting stickers on everything. Cause like, why not? Why not? I mean, I'm an adult, you know, I can do what I want with my sketchbooks. <laughs> I like this one because it's like it was in the sticker pack and I felt like it was like just oddly like uniquely furry. All right, so I'm going to stop rambling about stickers and I'm just going to get into it. So yeah, I started this in August of this year and I finished it this month, which is November. So this is my first page. It's like a swatch page. I basically just like if I had a pen or something. Or a marker, I would just like want well, yeah, you know how that you know how that works. Um, yeah, I'm covering something up there. Yeah, I don't really remember what's in this. Oh, let's get the page. <laughs> yeah, so this is a I always like do this thing where like if I'm trying to like break into the sketchbook, I just print out like a digital drawing that I've done. I did this. Um, yeah, it's of Cassandra from the Upper House. Um, I have this picture. This is so old. This is of um lighting is terrible. <laughs> this picture is of Kelly. She's my original character. She's sweet. I like her. This is an old picture of her though. This was a quote from a video. <laughs> it's like completely out of context and no one's gonna know what it means unless you've seen the video that it's from. <laughs> um, a lot of these are from like back in August obviously so I did those uh, at the camp that I was a counselor at. Some of these I did at home, obviously, but like I would just take my sketchbook in and I would like draw in it if I had like free time. Oh, so this this sketchbook brand, this is my favorite sketchbook brand. However, they recently changed like their like whoops their uh you know cover design and stuff. But they also changed like I feel like the paper quality as well. So oh, fuck, I keep giving you spoilers. So. Yeah, it has like this weird speckled texture. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like really bothering me. <laughs> so I emailed the company and they never got back to me, but I was just like, hey, why did you do this? I did this sparkle dog because <laughs> it's just silly. It's just silly fun, a good bit of fun. Oh my gosh. So I actually started listening to, the, to Nirvana and I really like Nirvana. Um, as a band, but I also am just very fascinated with like Kurt Cobain as a person. So I had this Nirvana sticker in my sticker pack and I put that in there because I was like, well, now that I'm actually a real fan of Nirvana, I can put the sticker in there. And then I have Pico from Newgrounds and he's singing 21, what? I have 21 pilots there, but there's a Nirvana sticker here. I don't fucking know what I was doing. But yeah, I don't know. I like that quote though. <laughs> It like perfectly describes my life. Oh yeah, I was listening to, um, oh, what's, the, what's the name of that album? It's the one that has stressed out, I don't know. <laughs> um, oh yeah, this, this guy, I was drawing like this just random kid. 
Or like the campers at the summer camp I work at gave him a name, but I don't remember what they named him. It was like Kevin or something. No, it wasn't Kevin. I don't know what it was. It was like, like a very stereotypical like boy name. I don't know what that is, but it's sort of cool. Um, yeah, I was just into this very like edgy 2000s horribleness. Still am. Oh yeah, this was Kelly, but like, <laughs> I did like a better version of that, but it's like a 21 Pilots lyric that I like. Oh yeah, there's some funny stuff in here, cause like, lots of memories. Or like one of the kids at the summer camp um, <laughs> gave me this like image of a bottle to draw, cause he's like, oh, you're not a real artist, I'll give you this image to draw. And I drew the image. <laughs> it's olive oil. <laughs> and of course, like since he's a 12 year old boy, he wanted me to draw the extra virgin olive oil. Oh, that's so funny. Drew this kid again. I literally don't remember what I named. Oh, Henry. I named him Henry. <laughs> uh, I don't know what, what that is. Why does it say pizza? Was I hungry? I don't know. This page. Ugh, I drew this furry and this furry with hair. <laughs> Um, I don't know what this was in context to. Give me your social security number. Obviously don't. <laughs> I was angry at someone that day. I don't know who. I drew this devil guy. One of the campers said he looks like a character from Teen Titans, which I've never watched, so I cannot verify that. Oh, this cat looks like a stuffed animal I had. I think that's what I based him off of. The camp I work at is the theater camp, so we're doing, um, the kids put on a musical like in three weeks it's crazy but they were doing the little mermaid so like i was literally listening to the songs like all day every day because they were just rehearsing rehearsing and rehearsing so i wrote down the lyrics because it was like stuck in my head i said that i liked the rainforest cafe i don't remember why i just had that thought so i wrote it down there's cassandra again because i love her oh it's my first time here <laughs> this is a cute girl and a planet and a tree some fun stuff that's a guy totally not based off of anyone i know winky face <laughs> there's kelly again i do this mermaid because um i had these crayola colored pencils at the camp because like we do art activities too that i'm in charge of and i did that with a crayola pencil they're really waxy obviously but i think i was just i pressed really really hard so i got like Kind of like good blending i guess i have all these like stickers that are like smiley face stickers that i was going to give to the kids if they like did well <laughs> and i ended up just using them all myself i did it okay so i got some like gouache i don't really freaking know how to paint but like i drew alice in wonderland but it looks it's not my favorite thing that i've ever drawn neither is this furry oh well this has a story behind it um like back in the summer this cat just like appeared on my doorstep so i like took her inside because i like didn't know what to do with her she was just like i thought she was lost or something um so we put up like found cat posters and stuff and we eventually like found out that she just kind of wanders around the neighborhood we have no idea where she really comes from but like a lot of neighbors are, have been calling us because of they've seen the found cat sign and been like hey i saw this cat in my yard too so that's what she looked like i got so attached to her though I really wanted to keep her, <laughs> and I found out that her name was Birdie. Oh, I love her. I miss her. I hope she comes back to my doorstep. Yeah, my mom said that while I was visiting my boyfriend, she like appeared on the doorstep. I was like, oh damn, I wish I was there. I drew Ricky Ticky Tabby, the mongoose, <laughs> and then like I just had so many song lyrics that I've written down because they've been in my head and stuff. I like the game Spore, so I drew this rocks from Spore. He's sweet. I drew Kurt Cobain because I've been interested in Kurt Cobain. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> a lyric to a Nirvana song that I like heard the lyrics wrong though, so it's not perfectly, not perfectly lyrically correct according to the actual lyrics of the song. Oh well, I'm not a true fan. Oh yeah, there's Henry again. Sweet, he looks just like boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. <laughs> Bootleg boyfriend. Oh. This girl was like based off of a girl I saw in a dream that I had, even though I like messed up her face and stuff there. What's this? Oh yeah, so I was gonna like, I wanted to travel somewhere, so my dad like printed out this like partially cut off um, image of like all the national parks or something. Cool. 
Um, yeah, I was having a hard day this day. I don't really know what was going on. <laughs> but I drew Bambi. <laughs> and then I just, like, had an emotional breakdown. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, that's a Polaroid that I took. <laughs> but it came out horrible because <laughs> it was on the wrong setting. This clown is quite cute. I like him. I like that girl as well. She's pretty. Let me just get, like, a good shot of this. I was having a bad art day that day, I think. That's why I wrote that I will be a good artist someday. Because I messed up that that I did of Kelly. <laughs> I just wrote bad and scribbled it out. Because, like, back then I, like, also had trouble drawing hands. I still have trouble drawing hands, but, like, not as bad as back then. I like that clown I did. <laughs> cool. Oh, I drew Cassandra. I drew Kelly. There's Kelly and there's Kelly again. Oh, yeah. I don't know why, but okay, so I had COVID, like, on my birthday, literally, but I was very sick on my birthday, and it was very sad, but at first my parents and my sister had COVID, and then I got it, but, like, I wasted a lot of time because I just, like, I couldn't do anything else, so I just wrote down, like, all of these, <laughs> oh, I'm such a silly person, I wrote down all these, like, headcanons for what eye colors the characters from New Girls would have. <laughs> I had, like, a very specific eye color that I thought that girlfriend would have because I, I don't know, it just goes well with her, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, I drew this zombie guy. Kind of cool. I don't know. Pretty cool. <laughs> some of this stuff I'm like covering up because like, like I'm just like not showing you some pages because like I was having a bit of an emotional time. <laughs> And I had to like vent some of my frustrations because it was helping me. This candle is really pretty. I like that because I, I didn't do very much watercolor in here because I had gotten a new set of Copic markers. They are very pretty. And I like also just like the fact that the page, like the new redesign of this sketchbook brand is just like it does not handle watercolor as well as it used to. I don't know what this what this lyric is from. It's from a song, I think. I don't remember which song it was from. Oh yeah, I did this figure drawing thing from a book that I had for figure drawing, and then like, there's this number, Ugh, I don't know what this was from, it was like supposedly like a haunted number that you could call, and I was like so tired because I had COVID, so I just like wasted time and I called that number. It was creepy, it was like some creepy stuff. It has a Massachusetts area code. With that of Kelly when I had an arm injury. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. It was crazy like I like got a skateboard and I was trying to learn how to skateboard because I saw this cool like you know thing on TV of these people who could skateboard really well and I was like I want to be just like them so I got a skateboard and then I fell on my arm and I had to go to the hospital it was just like I thought it was broken that was awful it was so painful I drew that girl I drew that girl <laughs> Ugh, yeah and then I realized like because while I was at the camp all we had were like Crayola markers, but then I realized that like since they're water-based, if I put water on them, they can do like a cool effect, which was really fun. <laughs> I was having a hard day this day as well, so I just wanted an energy drink, but then I had the energy drink <laughs> and it just like made me so tired and gave me a headache, so I don't drink energy drinks anymore. Learned my lesson. I drew that of Kelly, but like with her hair dyed. And I wanted to join the circus that day because I was just done with everything. It was August, so I had the August sticker thing. Mm, there's boyfriend, who I like literally never draw. <laughs> this was when I like was really in the thick of having COVID and it was just awful. I basically couldn't draw for like a few days. I was just, I was, I felt so gross. I had this like, I like this guy. I don't even remember what, like what this, the inspiration was from for that, but I don't fucking know. This girl, she's pretty. Oh, this is fun. So like, <laughs> I wrote down this like weird experience that happened to me because like basically there were like a couple nights where I would stay up really late and then like I have a really long dr driveway. So like at 4 a.m. like literally every single night for like, f like four days, I think this happened. Like I would just be sitting there like, you know, either in my room about to fall asleep or something. And then these car headlights would go down my driveway and then they would just like stop on the driveway. And just like, I don't know how long they would just stay. Like, it was like a, a car would just come down and stop parked on the driveway at like 4 a.m. It was kind of scary. <laughs> I was like, 
kind of like, oh, are they like casing my house so that they can break in? But I don't know, it just eventually stopped, but it was weird. So I drew some Halloween things because it was nearing Halloween. Oh wait, no it wasn't because it was my birthday, which is in August. So I guess I was just like ready for Halloween really early. I drew this when I was sick with COVID, so I said it was a COVID doodle, which it is. <laughs> I like that girl, she's very pretty. I messed up her dress though, because it was gonna be purple originally, but then I was like, oh no, I want it to be blue. So then I like changed it. So it has this weird like shadow of like the purple underneath. Oh, oh yeah, I drew girlfriend, because I love her. She's so pretty. Her hair was fun to do. Mm -hmm. And then I decided that I wanted to like, for my birthday, I didn't want any like items. I just wanted to like travel. I ended up not traveling anywhere, but I wrote down all the places I like possibly wanted to go. Why did I write Utah? Who the hell wants to go to Utah? <laughs> uh, no offense if you're from Utah. I was getting better from COVID. Oh, I watched Orphan and I drew the girl from Orphan because she has like a very distinct look and I didn't really capture like the expression that she usually has. I was doing like this shading thing where I like kind of did like an outline around it. I don't know. Oh, this cat's sweet. It's like a little cat angel. And then this is like based off of gravestones from like the olden days where they had like these like, I don't know what they were called, but they're like, you know, like carvings on the top. So I did that based off of one of those. And yeah, I don't know, like, cause if, if marker bleeds through, I like usually like glue something over that so I can go on that page too. I don't, I didn't like this. I was going to throw this out, but then I, cause I like cut it out of the sketchbook cause I hated it so much. And then I found it in the trash can the next day. I was like, oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> So I put it back in there. Oh, that's cool. It's like a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's Kelly again. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a video ideas list of videos that I never got around to making. Now I'm finally making a video again. This color scheme for this girl is it's like, just like the yellow and blue just looks nice, I think. I like the song Scream by 21 Pilots, so I wrote it down so I can remember that I liked it. I like that furry. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I was just like do I was just like doodling that day and I went overboard with like the uh Posca pen on there. This bunny is really sweet. <laughs> um it's just some nice little drawings. I like these. Oh yeah, I was writing a book at one point that I just like abandoned. Like I abandoned all my projects. This is what he looked like, what character in the book. Um there's Kelly again. So old, like Looking at these, I'm like, wow, I can draw her better now. I'm getting better at drawing people. For the longest time, I've had like a fascination with just like <laughs> white and blue, like wolf designs. <laughs> so specific, but just like, this isn't the right blue that I wanted. <laughs> I don't understand like, like why some things just really inspire me and some things don't. Yeah, I, I took this Polaroid because I brought the bookshelf into the dining room. It's right there right now that's how it looks um yeah so this day i just like i went through like kind of an art block um after i had covid because i didn't draw for a few days because i like literally couldn't because i was so sick um but then i came back to drawing and i kind of just drew like a lot of like you know headshots from the shoulders up i drew i was watching south park i drew stan and i drew ken because i have like a little kenny uh figurine on my desk um and it's like let me show you. Like, this is him. <laughs> he was like sitting on the table across from the dining room table. And I just like, whenever I can't think of anything to draw, I like look around the room and I always like see him there. And I'm like, oh, might as well just draw Kenny again. <laughs> I don't know. I drew Pinkie Pie, but she looks terrible. <laughs> I like how I did that though. That's with Posca pen. Like, I don't know. I just like did the shading on that really nice. Patting myself on the back. Here's Kenny. I drew like a page of like Kenny because I was watching South Park, obviously. His hand is backwards right there, but I'm not going to talk about that. It's another character from that book I was trying to write, but I never did. This was some tarot cards that I pulled for like a reading. <laughs> and then I drew this girl. I thought this idea was really cool. It was like a girl who has a doll and the doll looks just like her. It's like based off of like how I had an American girl doll that looked just like me. Um, I don't know what that is. I think it was supposed to be Kyle from South Park. It looks so weird. I like that. Oh yeah, that's like my first Anna, basically. This was the color. This was the exact color that I was thinking of. I did it on a Neopet. 
it's just like kind of this like wintry color scheme i don't know but like the husky or like wolf or whatever it was a couple pages back like that's the color that this is the exact color that i wanted but i found it on another marker that i had did that with posca pen i don't really like how it came out because it's a little messy but i like the um kenny don't plow uh i just i liked the the drawing underneath but then i like messed up with the coloring uh that girl's cool i don't know i like the i always like the trope of like having hair over the eyes i just think it's fun i don't remember what that was but i was listening to an audiobook i can literally like remember what i was doing when i was drawing these because i was listening to an audiobook of like murder on the orient express <laughs> and that book is cool i don't know i've never listened to like an agatha christie audiobook before it was really cool really fun um i love this bat oh he's so cute i don't know just his little feet he's so cute i don't know why i did that like demented looking pony <laughs> Oh, that's a song that I like. I mean, everyone knows that song. This girl's pretty. I don't know, I was doing like a winter, like winter coats kind of thing because it was nearing fall and I was like drawing winter coats. She's pretty. I like her braid. I like this girl. And I was like, her name will be Ice. <laughs> so I just like did a really like, uh, I don't know. This is my cat Levi, who you saw at the beginning of the video, but I drew him as Puss in Boots. Um, oh yeah, this is when Taylor Swift's new album came out. I still listen, I'm listening to that like on repeat right now. And this song, oh, I love this song. It really reminded me of like my high school days where I was like boy crazy, except I wasn't boy crazy. I was like girl crazy, but that's a whole nother story in itself. Yeah, but <laughs> that was me in high school. I'm even wearing my little school uniform. Um, those were interesting days not dwell on the past anymore <laughs> i was drawing double b from ed ed and eddie and then i like had like a weird mental breakdown and i just was so angry at the fact that i drew his hand in a way i didn't like and i said that this was the worst drawing i've done all year like i just like went crazy and then i like <laughs> the next day i came back to this and i was like oh it's actually not that bad i just messed up the arm <laughs> oh well um, I did, I like that sparkly, not sparkly, the shiny. I have this, like, uh, Sharpie that is, like, holographic. <laughs> not holographic, you know what I mean. And I drew Coraline because it was Halloween season. I like this. I like how I did the shading. And, like, just, like, the detail in the hair. Just very pretty. Everyone likes Coraline. I'm gonna skip that. Um, <laughs> what? I drew Mary from, what? Like, I don't remember why I was doing this, but I drew Mary from the bible but i gave her like <laughs> like weird toriel firepowers <laughs> what was i doing i don't know but it's sort of cool it's like kind of like i have no idea this girl's cool i did like a sharpie thing again i like this guy like i don't know it's just kind of detailed looking with like the winter thing this girl is cool as well because I was doing all these winter coats. Then I had this, okay, so this is from the book that I was writing where this kid goes missing. It's not like Stranger Things though. Don't tell me it's like Stranger Things. Everyone tells me it's like Stranger Things. It wasn't supposed to because I never started watching Stranger Things until later on. I don't know. I did a missing poster because I think they're just sort of cool. Oh yeah, I did a list of rabbit holes to go down because like just some weird stuff to research. I don't know. I was having fun. Um, this girl is kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's like my rendition of like what Eve would look like from the Bible. <laughs> I'm not a Christian. I went to a Catholic school though as a as a child and teenager. This girl is really pretty. I like her like blue color scheme and like I did like a really cool thing with the shirt where I did a pattern on it. I usually don't do patterns on like clothing. It's just kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. This was like kind of cool because I, I did like a like a sharpie thing there. Um, oh yeah, I was at my boyfriend's house and his sister had like this Halloween decoration of a pumpkin So I drew the pumpkin, but I gave him like an outfit and stuff. That's a cool thing. I don't know <laughs> And I drew Pico and boyfriend being boyfriends Sweet. Um, I drew Slenderman because I was getting into like, um, I don't know just like nostalgia and stuff Because oh my gosh, I remember when everyone was obsessed with Slenderman. I drew this guy. I think he's cool It's just kind of like 2000s looking this guy is like based off of the mascot for Jinko jeans. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know what I was doing, but he's cool. He or she, I don't know, but he's based off of a male character. 
I like that. That has like a cool like shading to it. I was like really detailed with the coloring. This I just like overworked way too much. Oh yeah, so that was my Powerball ticket <laughs> back when um, I'm not gonna show you that because I don't know like if it has any personal information on that. No idea. But like that was back when the Powerball was like two million dollars or no, two billion dollars or something. So like <laughs> everyone bought a Powerball ticket. I did not win, obviously. I like this, it's cool with the, like the black eyes. <laughs> Hmm. I drew um, the Dover demon, but as like a character, because I'm actually, um, my mom grew up in Dover, and uh, I think I talked about this a long time ago, my mom grew up in Dover, and her sister was in the class, like the same class, the like same high school class as the, one of the people who found it, like Bill Bartlett, and like, yeah, just crazy what happened, <laughs> except it's probably just like an animal or something. I like this. This is really cool. I don't know. It's based off of like um, like old maps or something. I was playing Wordle, so I was like trying to work this out. I don't know if that's cheating to work it out on a paper. <laughs> Probably not. This is music um, for like the guitar thing that I was doing. Ugh, I messed that up really bad. Oh, I was doing like a compass kind of design. <laughs> My boyfriend, I was at his house like near Halloween. And he was like, can you draw Naruto from memory? And even though I've never seen that show, but like I have literally seen this character on the internet so much that I could draw him from memory. Except for this little design up here, which I like referenced afterwards. Cause I was like, oh, that's the only thing I got wrong. <laughs> I don't know, I was having a bad day that day. Let's not dwell on that too much. This girl has cool rainbow hair. <laughs> and I drew Pico again. It's all I ever draw. I drew Kenny again because I like whenever I, whenever Kenny shows up in this book it's because I didn't know what to draw and I looked up on my desk and saw the little figure I have of him. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is when I started watching Stranger Things. Um, so I drew Elle because Elle is my favorite character. <laughs> I like I'm on season two now because me and my boyfriend's sister like stayed up until like like all we stayed up all night watching Stranger Things. We watched like the first season and like half of the second season in one night. And then I just wrote uh, lyrics to Taylor Swift's new album, songs and stuff. Cause like, obviously I love her. I love everything that she does. This is when I was back home from my boyfriend's house. I drew Cassandra again. I drew like, I don't know who this, like he looks kind of like a cross between Dipper from Gravity Falls and I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I like this. It's kind of cool, it's like a knight character. I was doing like a medieval kind of thing because, oh my gosh, I was gonna do NaNoWriMo and I, I actually am almost done with NaNoWriMo. National Novel Writing Month, if you don't know. Because I feel like every year I say I'm gonna do it and then I like only write like a thousand words and then I just can't do it anymore and I give up. This year I'm already at 40,000 words, it's crazy. Um, but it was gonna be like a medieval story, but then I just decided not to. And then I drew Sans over here. Oh, good times. I miss Undertale. Because I actually like started playing the game again, and then I gave up. But like, I played through that game a few times. I have this clown doll that I got at Goodwill. And he's right there. The demon. That's what he looks like. <laughs> so I drew him here. Um... <laughs> He's cool. I like how he turned out. Like, I thought, I thought, I, Jesus. I think the coloring on him is really cool, I guess. I drew Gavroche from Les Mis, because I love Les Mis. Oh, I love Les Mis. It's my favorite thing ever. And I love Gavroche, so I drew him, and I have him holding the French flag. Oh, he's so sweet. I drew this girl. She looks kind of like a, I don't know, like a film noir kind of lady. <laughs> I don't know. I like this furry. <laughs> um, more song lyrics. Oh, <laughs> sweet. I voted that day. This was like a couple days ago. I drew Cassandra in like a cool outfit. All right, so now we're getting into like the newer stuff in the sketchbook because there's only like three pages left. I drew Cassandra again. I really like Cassandra. Like, um, you know, as a, as a, like, I mean, like, you know, if she was like a nice person, because <laughs> I drew Cosette from Les Mis. I love Cosette. Oh, so sweet. This was a different drawing before, and then I turned it into Cosette because, like, oh, I was on a lame Miz kick that day, and then I wrote the lyrics to the finale, and I drew Gavroche again. Oh, he's so sweet. I wrote Long Move Us. Oh, Gavroche. 
And then like I had marker that bled through over here. So I had to color in the French flag there because this was originally just black and white. Um, I figured this robot, that's really cool. <laughs> this is all stuff I did recently. This is kind of cool. I don't know, like I really like the shading I did on this. It's like kind of dramatic shading. I like to write down songs that I listen to and then I like so I can find them again. I don't know what I was doing with this. He looks, I don't know, I was trying to do like a style or something, like an art style. <laughs> did not turn out the way I wanted it to. I like this robot though, he's cool. I did that with Posca pens, but I was trying to come up with like a style for how I draw Pico because like I have, I'm just terrible at like, I don't know, I guess I'm terrible at just like, um, like I can replicate cartoon styles pretty well, but like translating them into my own style is kind of difficult for me. This was another robot. I was into like robots recently. I don't know. I just went way too detailed with this. Oh yeah. And I did something under here that I covered up, but it's like a really detailed thing. <laughs> I don't know. This is just too crazy, so I covered it up. Um, okay, yeah, I drew, drew that. And then I, this is the very last page of the sketchbook. So I said, in conclusion, I hate art. I don't actually. But, um, <laughs> oh, this is still me trying to, like, come up with a design, like, not a design, but, like, a style for, like, how I would draw Pico. Um, I like his little tooth gap, so I always add the tooth gap, because that's, like, the mind chamber style that that artist does, which I like a lot. I like this style a bit more than I like the Friday Night Pumpkin style, but like, I like how this turned out of him from Friday Night Pumpkin. Oh, I like this one because he's just like so wholesome. He's so happy. <laughs> I did the logo there. I think that's, I like this page. It's kind of like cool. This is the last page of the sketchbook. I'm covering up my name there. Um, <laughs> I did that. Uh, two hours ago. <laughs> Here's Pico. Sweet! Alright, so that is the end of this sketchbook. Oh my gosh, so crazy! And there's my little Pico sticker right there, and I have Darnell right there. <laughs> I'm so sorry if this video is like all over the place, because I literally haven't like done this in so long. I'm just like, I don't know, not used to doing videos, but I'm back doing videos now. <laughs> hopefully for a long time, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know what's sweet? This little alpaca sticker, because I have, I have an alpaca right here that I uh, won at Fun and Games. All right, so I think that that is all I am going to say, because it is late, and uh, yeah, this video is going off the rails. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I miss doing YouTube, like, literally so much. I miss you guys. You're really fun to talk to in the comments. I love reading all of your comments because you guys always have so much like, you know, cool stuff to say. I like hearing about like your experiences drawing and stuff. So I don't know. It's just fun to like read your comments and stuff. Um, and like, I really like appreciate all your support of my channel. I had no idea it was gonna do as well as it did and it is currently doing because now I'm back. So. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.